Well, many of us pay our bills online because it's fast, easy, and convenient. But a Modesto woman called Curtis after the DMV fees that she paid through her bank didn't show up and they didn't end up renewing her DMV registration. Yeah, well, many companies are pushing people toward online bill pay through their banks, but the DMV says this woman left out some key information and that caused quite the headache. Paula Billings has proof she paid her registration renewal using her bank's online bill pay. I'm going, what's the problem? Here's my check. Here's a copy of the cash check her bank sent to the DMV last summer, 155 bucks, but her DMV tags never arrived. <laughs> Paula had to go to a DMV office every few months to get these temporary tags so cops wouldn't pull her over. She says a DMV worker told her her payment was credited to somebody else and she'd have to wait until they could get that money back. I said, well, that doesn't even make sense. Then the DMV garnished her bank account for 296 bucks to cover the registration, late, and bank processing fees. They caught a lot of nerve. This is, then I was really mad. I was really mad. We asked the DMV what went wrong. It was a, a simple uh, miskey, if you will, of a, uh, of a transaction, and the funds were applied to a different vehicle. DMV spokesperson Mike Morando says a technician did make a mistake, but the problem started when Paula paid her fee through her bank's bill pay and not through the DMV's website. Because Paula did not provide her license plate number, when the bank sent the check to the DMV, the technician didn't know where it was supposed to go, and it somehow ended it up in the wrong place. But after 10 months and three visits to the DMV, shouldn't they have been more helpful figuring this out? If any customer feels that they're getting the runaround or that their satisfaction is not being met, absolutely ask for a manager. We have trained managers at all of our field offices. After we got involved, the DMV credited Paula's bank account $296 and her tax finally showed up. It's a big relief. It's a big relief. Well, Paula just paid her renewal fees for the coming year, and this time she did it at a field office in person to make sure there was no mix-up. So what should you do in the future to prevent something like this? You really need to make sure that your license plate number is on a check, or if you do it through online bill pay, that it's right there in the memo line, because this check showed up to the DMV from her bank, and they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't know where to apply mm -hmm. it. And I don't know how, but it somehow ended up on the wrong person's That's account. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right, if you have something you want us to investigate, let us know about it. You can call our hotline Monday through Friday at 916-374-1343, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com. Click on Call Curtis and fill out our form.